This is Module 3, Lesson 21, Homework on the front. Directions. Use the RDW process for each problem. Use a letter to represent the solution. So we are going to read, draw, write to solve each of these problems. Number 1. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Use a tape diagram to find the total minute, number of minutes in 6 hours and 15 minutes. So I know that in one hour there are 60 minutes. I need to find how many minutes there are in 6 hours and 15 minutes. So I'm also going to highlight that. Total number of hours in 6, minutes, six hours and 15 minutes. So I'm going to start with a tape diagram since that's what my directions told me to do. And I have six hours. So I'm going to divide my tape diagram up into six hours. In each hour, I have 60 minutes. So I'm going to demonstrate that by putting 60 in each of my boxes. I want to find the total number of minutes in those hours. So I'm going to use a T to represent that. I can look at this and see I have six equal groups of 60, which is going to give me T. If I multiply 6 times 60, I get that T equals 360. Now looking back at my problem, I still have another 15 minutes that I need to think about with my 360. If I want to find the total number of minutes, then I will need to add 360 plus those extra 15 minutes, which is going to give me my total minutes. I will rewrite my problem on this side, 360 plus 15. 0 plus 5 is 5, 6 plus 1 is 7, 3 plus an imaginary 0 is 3. So M equals 375 minutes. Number 2. Ms. Lemus buys 7 boxes of snacks. Each box has 12 packets of fruit snacks and 18 packets of cashews. How many snacks did she buy all together? Well, the first thing I need to do is notice that I have seven boxes and that each of those seven boxes has 12 packets of fruit snacks and 18 packets of cashews. I have to find how many snacks she bought all together. I know how many boxes of snacks she bought, but I don't know how many items are in each, each box. So to represent that, I'm going to have a tape diagram where I have my 12 fruit snacks represented and my 18 cashews represented for my boxes. When I look at this tape diagram, I can see that I have two parts but those parts are not equal, so that means I cannot multiply because I don't have equal parts. I do see, though, that I am missing the total. So I have both parts, but missing the total. When I have both parts, but I'm missing the total, I'm going to add those numbers together. I will rewrite that problem vertically to help me add. 2 plus 8 is 10. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So B equals 30. Looking back at my problem, I have to figure out how many total snacks Miss Lemus bought. I know, I drew that line there to separate out my problem. I know she has seven boxes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. And in each of those boxes, there are 30 snacks. We figured that out in the first part when we added the two snacks together. This tape gut diagram is going to give me my total number of snacks. When I look at this tape diagram, I see that I have seven equal groups of 30. When I have equal groups, I can multiply. So I have seven groups of 30 is going to give me T. I can think about this as seven times three and ignore that zero for right now. Seven times three is 21. I'm going to add that zero to the end, 210 snacks. Number three, Tamara wants to buy a tablet that costs $437. She saves $50 a month for nine months. Does she have enough money to buy the tablet? Explain why or why not. So Tamara needs a total of $437. Right now, she's saving $50 a month for nine months. We need to know, does she have enough money to buy the tablet? So first thing I'm gonna figure out is how much money Tamara has right now. I know that she has been saving money for nine months. And in each of those months, she's saving $50. Does this tape diagram look similar to ones that we've already done in numbers one and two? We need to figure out how much money Tamara has right now. If I look at this problem, I see that I have nine equal groups of 50. That's showing me that I have nine Groups of $50 is going to equal M. You are going to multiply to figure out what M equals. On the second step, we know that Tamara needs $437 to buy her, um, her tablet. We don't know how much money she has yet, so I'm actually going to take that tape diagram away. I do know she needs $437, and we're going to have to subtract how much she has. Let's try this again. We're going to have to look at M to decide, is it equal to greater than or less than $437. Once you have figured out letter M, you can write to explain if she has enough money to buy her tablet.